Hello, it's me again, Konstantinos Lazarakis, Master of Wine, and this is the second episode of the E-Greek Wine video series, an initiative of the Greek Wine Federation. This is the second episode, but actually it's the first. It's the first that we will start analyzing different wine producing regions in Greece. In this, we're going north and we're going east, and we are going to East Macedonia and Thrace. And we will start from Thrace, which is actually a quite peculiar case in the world of Greek wine. Why? In antiquity, Thrace was very well known for producing high quality wines. Thrace was one of the grand crews of the era. Fast forward to present times, and it has been a little more than a decade that people have been acknowledging that Thrace can produce bloody good wines. Because of that relatively short modern Venus history, Thrace has no PDO denominations, but has four PGIs, out of which I will single out two, Avira and Ismaros. Ismaros is essentially Maronia, and Maronian wine in antiquity was possibly drunk by Ulysses himself. Both Ismaros and Avira share some common climatic traits, they're very close to the sea, but at the same time, they're very close to mountains. So, the local climate is the interplay between the ocean breezes and the cooling winds coming down from the mountains. There are somehow limited local grey varieties in Thrace, but I have to talk about two, both of which are black grey varieties. The first one is Mavrudi, and the second one is Limnion. Limnion is not exactly a local grey variety, it's coming from the island of Limnos, but a lot of substantial plantings have found their way into the Thracian vineyards. Both grey varieties can make exciting wines, but very different in style. Mavrudi is richer, fuller, excellent with meat, quite chunky dishes. Limnion is more elegant, is more linear, and potentially both can age for many, many years. Not many native white grapes as well in Thrace, but the producers have been taking other grapes from other places of Greece or other countries and crafting some superb wines. For example, aromatic Malagusias, a bit more mineral and richer acidicos, or Chardonnay that could really make white burgundies blush. You should drink more Greek wine from Thrace. Ancient Greeks had taste. Ancient Greeks were clever and they were drinking a lot of wine from Thrace. So you can be more like ancient Greeks. Okay, we're trying to push Thracian wine because it has to be, it must be more well known, but the nearby Eastern Macedonia is a complete contrast. A lot of very successful wineries have their home there. In Eastern Macedonia, we have Kavala and Drama. For many people, this is the Bordeaux of Greece. Actually, Kavala can be called the left bank and Drama can be called the right bank, or maybe the other way around. Pick and choose. Although a lot of the styles of wines produced in Kavala and Drama are quite close to each other, the geography can be different. Kavala is very close to the sea and we have Pangeo Mountain close by. Drama is further up in, it's landlocked and there are lower mountains around the regions. Before the 80s, almost no one was talking about the wines produced in Drama and Kavala. It took quite a few bright minds to make these regions extremely successful, both on quality and commercial level. These areas had very few local grey varieties, but the producers, the quality-oriented producers, decided to create a fascinating mosaic that goes through very distinct phases of development over the last three decades. Initially, the established two basic styles of wine, a red and a white. The white was a blend of Sauvignon Blanc and Assetico. Sauvignon Blanc 
to give perfume and some zinginess, acidico to give minerality, body, and crisp acidity. The reds were essentially Bordeaux blends, Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, rich but still quite velvety reds. One of the most fascinating facts of the vineyards of Drama and Cavalla is that producers are becoming more adventurous and they plant different grape varieties. This can be either Greek varieties grown in other parts of Greece, like Ayurgitico or Malagusia, or grape varieties from Italy and Spain. In general, one can say that the styles of wines produced in Drama and Kabbalah are, should we say, new worldy, so aromatic, refreshing whites, and full but very velvety and round reds. After tackling Thrace and Eastern Macedonia, we will move on to Central and West Macedonia. This is a Greek wine, we talk about Greek wine, we drink Greek wine always in moderation. Remember.